we investigate an underexplored motion generation problem. Styled online in between motion synthesis, which has important application scenarios in computer animation and games. We propose a novel method to generate styled transition sequences that satisfy generation speed, motion quality, style diversity and synthesis controllability requirements. Given the distance, time duration, and another motion with the target style, the character adopts a stylized strategy to reach the target without drifting. We first present an example. Our method consists of two critical, independent components, a general motion manifold and a style motion sampler. Specifically, we propose an autoencoder that encodes motion transition randomness and motion phases. Then a motion sampler samples from the manifold with specified target frames, time duration and style, instead of generating only the most probable motions as in previous methods. One advantage of our model is that the manifold and sampler do not have to be trained on the same dataset. This experiment shows that our manifold and the sampler trained on two no overlapping datasets. No matter which dataset is used to train the manifold, the sampler always presents the stylized pose by sampling from a general manifold. For some unseen styles that preserve a pose all the time, the sampler does not change the posture during the transition, which keeps the style. However, the sampler still needs to learn from the dataset to sample a stylized motion to reach the target, which can be obtained by fine tuning. The fine tuning result is shown in the latter of this video. We compare our model with two previous in between models. Without explicitly imposing style, when there are several similar styles, previous methods could mix them incorrectly. Besides, when the motion differs from the distribution of the training set by changing the time durations or locations, previous methods cannot present vivid, stylized motions. This example shows a motion with hand movement. RTN has foot skating artifacts, and CVAE doesn't wave hands all the time. Our method synthesizes a high-quality stylized motion sequence. In terms of lower body movement, RTN and CVAE are unable to present stylized motion during the transition. Therefore, our method produces the best results. In addition, we experiment with 120 frame and 160 frame sequences, which are much longer. The following examples show how the three methods behave after changing the target location. RTN generates the drifting motion, and CVAE synthesizes a sequence with more small footsteps of neutral style. Our method preserves the source's style with big footsteps. In this example, the characters synthesized by RTN and CVAE reach the target by neutral walking while our method generates a sequence with the desired style. This example shows a similar result. When the target locations are changed, CVAE presents the most probable motion to reach the target. In addition, without considering the style, our methods still outperform previous methods in in-between methods of motion quality. We also conduct experiments on speeding up, slowing down the velocity and changing the target locations. In most cases, our method does not show visible foot skating artifacts, while RTN does. If changing the target location, RTN usually performs at the same pace as the source and fills the distance gap by drifting, 
while CVAE and our method use more small footsteps or fewer big steps to reach the target without visible artifacts. Our method is easily generalized to an unseen style by fine-tuning on limited data. The animation shows a character jumping on two legs to reach the target. Before fine-tuning, the character might present stylized movements, but the transition sequences still remain natural and of high quality. After fine-tuning, the character can reach the target by jumping rather than walking. Besides, we fine-tuned the model in which both the sampler and the manifold are trained on dataset B. For ablation studies, we replace CVAE's sampler with our sampler so that it accepts the style code as input. Nonetheless, without the phase vector, it cannot generate vivid stylized motion. There are some examples where the time durations and target locations have been altered. There are two examples where the target position is moved in the opposite direction. Our technique does not synthesize dynamic movements when the motion is static. To generate the stylized motion, we move the target frame away from the start location. And our method can then generate the necessary stylized walking motions, given the specific target style sequence. We require the model to synthesize a motion sequence by decelerating a single frame by a factor of 100. The character's stepping is driven by the style in order to meet the required style. If the character's movement style does not require dynamic footsteps, the character will come to a stop before proceeding with their gait. When the specified style severely contradicts with the space-time constraints, our model favors the control rather than the style, especially if the remaining time is not long enough for show that style. Thanks for watching.